So this is a fractured dimension. Waymarker response detected. Commence retrieval. There's a waymarker here. What do we do? First, we try to find the thing that sticks out the most from the prime dimension. That's usually the catalyst. Isn't this your hometown? Notice anything unusual? It's as if there's a pall in the air. Well, the first step in reporting is to ask around. It's freezing! Why does it have to be so cold here? You can warm yourself by conserving the energy you use, flapping your tongue, and use it to move your body instead. Must you always say such tedious things in such a tedious way? Then your tedious grumbling makes us two of a kind. You really are a delight. I'm guessing you don't have many friends, huh? Friends? Mm, indeed I do not. That's not true! Weren't the Chimeriad your friends? It's been a while since I've heard that name. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Wingle, Agria, Jow, and Pressa. They were Gaius's bodyguards, and they were all super powerful warriors. So where are they now? Uh, yeah, about that. They aren't anywhere. They're all dead. Oh. Oh no. It was during the war when they opened the schism. We were involved too. There's no need for you to feel responsible. Wingle, Jow, Pressa, and Agria gave their own lives so that I could move forward with mine. The responsibility for their sacrifices rests solely with me, and I will not dishonor them by compromising my goals. That is all you need to know. Right. Is it? I find it quite refreshing for this time of year. No way! There is no way it gets colder than this! Back me up on this, Luger! It's not so bad, right, Gaius? Indeed. I hardly even need a coat. Are you crazy? You'll catch a cold! Once you've acclimated to the weather, you'll have no such concerns. When I was in my twenties, I'd walk down this street in short sleeves with a pound of ice cream. What? People can get used to anything. But you already seem quite tolerant of the cold, Luger. Perhaps you are ready to embark on a special journey. I crafted an igloo outside of the city, my secret fortress of icy solitude. It has a spectacular view. It's one of the many places that are truly special to Kanbalar. Wow, His Highness is really something.
This wingle is at the center of everything weird here. Could it be more obvious? Interesting. I can't say I like the looks of that. Not one bit. I don't know if we're gonna get through this way. Disperse. The castle is off limits by order of His Highness King Li Ying himself. You shall not pass. If I fail in my duties, he'll kill me too. is as tedious as it is annoying. The real thing is actually quite nice, really.
What's going on here? It's deserted. Has the current king become a complete recluse? Kings in their solitude. wasn't supposed to be like this. This is wrong. Why do you vex me so? <sighs> Who are you people? Wingle? <laughs> More would-be assassins vying for my head. Rest assured, no guards shall fly to my rescue. I'm a lonely king who deserves to die. But first, I will make you rue the moment you dare to set foot in my throne room. What the heck? But I just want to talk with you. Agreed. This world is but one outcome. Perhaps this is the bitter fruit born from a mistake of my own making. Mianliying. Bayalti din yu ai kailo din yin. Terekuraya lin yal yu din. Jibiti yayo liying ki wung tin. Ersten? Ersten, you came back. Please, Ersten, try to forgive me. What happened? Must you make me say it? Hmm. It started when you began talking about abdicating the throne and abandoning your people. Why would Gaius do that? Carla was fading. You wanted to be with her at the end. Carla, her illness. Who's Carla? Gaius's little sister. I know that once you make a decision, you never waver in it. So I begged Carla to help you refocus your attention on your kingly duties. She agreed to help, but I... I never thought that she would... To prevent me from going through with abdicating, she took her own life. Hurston, forgive me! I never dreamed that would happen. You must believe me, please! Her death broke this world's Gaius, and he left the public eye forever. What? You're not Ersten! I'm not the Ersten you know, that much is true. But believe me, I understand how he must have felt. But your tongue! Ersten that way was my only true friend! You could never understand him! So the possibility existed for us to be friends. Clearly he didn't feel the same about me. Ersten abandoned me along with his people. Why? Damn it, Ersten! Tell me why! He's the catalyst! Luger didn't even need to help this time. Are you really up for this, Gaius? This brutality is what it takes to destroy a world, right? How can I presume to judge Luger without first having walked a mile in his shoes? <laughs> now! So, so this is the Divergence Catalyst. This one's different from my sister. He's using a booster! He's scary! Do something! Sanctuary! Get up! Get up! You owe me! You owe me! 
Must be done. Figures you'd say that. <sighs> You've gotten stronger. Hey, 
You better not underestimate me. Yes, that's what I'm talking about! I must become stronger. Kirsten, save me, please! To sit upon that throne means embracing the needs of the many and forsaking the needs of the one. To rule is to accept a lonely life. The king must discard his own sense of self. It was too much for me. Indeed. Luger, I leave the rest to you. Good job back there. So that was a fractured dimension. It's true. I spent many sleepless nights wondering whether I should abdicate the throne for Carla's sake. But when it was all said and done, I chose to remain king. Do you know why? Because you liked ruling? <laughs> Spoken like a true Olympian. But, I suppose you are right, in a way. I cherish my contact with people. It's a source of great personal strength. I suppose that a king's duty to offer guidance to his people is what appealed to me about leadership in the first place. Mark my words, Luger. There's a lesson for you in this. Destroying worlds requires a sense of detachment, one that will corrode the strongest of souls. If you continue to fight on your own, the isolation will consume you someday. Isolation means being alone, right? So there's no problem, because Luger's got all of us. That's big talk from a little girl. Talking is my speciality. You know, Gaius, they say the more the merrier about a lot of things. Including support. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Feel free to call on me if you ever need help. Or if you just feel like grabbing a drink. Wow, nicely done, Luger. It's not every day you become drinking buddies with a king. You picking up the tab? No, we'll split the bill evenly. <laughs> Guess you're not that close of a buddy. <laughs> Man, I'll be an old lady before I can finally publish this story about Gaius. You okay with that? Guess I gotta be. He's not the easiest guy to read, but I know there's a lot going on in that head of his. If I put in the time and effort, I know I'll figure out what makes Gaius tick eventually. Kinda the same with you. But don't worry, I'm not gonna write some trashy tell-all, you know. Ludes, you've been cleared to travel to Lakudum Sea Haven. We're thrilled to see you keeping up with the payments. You know what they say. Everyone admires a dependable man. My daddy said that too. He said I better marry someone dependable or he won't give his blessing. Then again, if a guy's just Mr. Dependable all the time, it's welcome to Dollsville, population you. Reliable, but somehow exciting. That must be the key. Exactly. Okay.
Hey, I like your clothes. Looks like you and I see eye to eye when it comes to fashion. Just to be clear, I have no intention of growing a beard. Hey, do you think my penmanship's gotten any better? I think it's got a real flair to it, you know? Flair! Would you take a look at my GHS for me? It uh, appears to be broken. What? I need to insert some sort of power source, you say? Hey, hey, hey! You hear the news about the Sean Du Coliseum? They're signing up fighters for tag battles now. Bet there's a sweet purse at 